Hey Flosstube, Lena B here, and I am back with my fourth video. Uh, thank you to everyone who enjoyed and watched, or watched and enjoyed, hopefully, um, my Paris haul video. I had a lot of fun filming it. I got really sick right after it, like with like a, just, I don't know, I came down with something. And, um... Yeah, and it's taken me it's taken me a couple weeks to kind of readapt to life um, back here. I don't know why. As I get older, it seems like jet lag just gets worse and worse. And we just um, obviously had Thanksgiving last week here in America, and I was extremely busy at the bakery. So a lot of pies, a lot of pies, a lot of gingerbread turkey cookies, um, a lot of cookies, a lot of cookies. But a lot of pie. Pumpkin pie was the best seller. Then it was apple. Then it was pecan. And then we also offered boysenberry and cherry, which are our big sellers. We usually also offer wild blueberry and apricot. And we make um, all fresh fruit pies. And our pumpkin pie, um, the filling is also made from scratch. So we do an all butter crust. And then, um, yeah, and then we do fresh fruit pies. Michigan sour cherries, Glenheim apricots, Granny Smith apples. Although, although <laughs> Granny Smith apples are extremely hard to get for anyone right now because um, I guess Granny Smith apples are extremely popular in China this year and a lot of the apple farms have had their whole entire crops bought up and shipped to China. So we kind of got stuck with Gala apples, which are fine, but in my opinion, nothing beats the crisp tartness of the Granny Smith. Uh, yeah, so I just got back from uh, my sister Olivia's house. We were working on Stitchy Christmas. I don't know if I just said that because I'm not going to lie to you. This is like my fifth video. Like for the first two, I accidentally referred to myself in third person. And that's horrible. Um, so yeah, it's been it's been a long day. Like I'm at three o'clock now, but I showed up at her house like quarter to eight because I didn't want to sit in Bay Bridge traffic. And in all honesty, I, since I live in San Francisco and Olivia lives in the East Bay, um, I'm not, I don't have a car but I was able to borrow my boyfriend's and driving across the Bay Bridge and on the 580 freeway makes me extremely, extremely uncomfortable. Um, so yeah, so with that said, I'm having champagne in a can today, but I'm gonna be classy for y'all and uh, put it in a glass, but it's three o'clock, which means that it's four o'clock in Arizona. And I'm going to go with that. I don't even know. I don't even know. Mm. That stuff's good. We sell it at Trader Joe's if they have it. Underwood. Never mind. Tried the rosé once, but I'm not a rosé kind of lady. It's too sweet for me. I don't know. Mm. But sparkling wine in a can, that I'm okay with. Okay, so yeah, Olivia and I went through um, a bunch of our stitchy Christmas stuff, getting that ready, um, and I'm just going to end up smacking myself because I'm really sorry. And then uh, we, we basically just got a lot of Christmas stuff done. It's very exciting. If you have no idea what stitchy Christmas is, I highly suggest you go and check out Olivia's the last video. It will give you zero clarification, but it will get you kind of excited, hopefully. We're very excited. This year, we decided that we were going to do all um, stitching-related Christmas presents and that we would do something a little special for our stitchy friends. Um, and it is, it is very true to who we are, which is like the coolest people you've ever met. Or future spinsters. Spinster Sisters is what is what we're aiming for. It's probably going to come true. I'm not going to lie. I don't know. But uh, we own it. We own it. But yeah. So we had a really good day. We got a little bit of stitching done together while we watched some floss tube. Uh, we watched a bunch of people who I hadn't watched before and who I do not remember their names. But it was really sad because one person's um, dog passed away. And that was really sad. And it was just... Yeah, Olivia lost her cat um, this year, Holden, who she has had for years, and uh, 
That was equally hard. Just pets. I would love to have a pet one day, but my apartment doesn't allow it, and I'm kind of a neat freak when it comes to my apartment. But, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, so, Thanksgiving is over. It went fine. It was uneventful. Serge made the turkey, the stuffing, and the gravy. I made the mashed potatoes. My mom made some green beans. I made a pumpkin pie. That was about it. It was five of us. Olivia hosted Thanksgiving on her own um, for her boyfriend's parents and friends. And I'm not going to lie to you, I would much rather have my sister with me for the holidays. Makes it a lot more lively. Especially when we fight. Because we fight sometimes. But we love each other just the same. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, while I was in Paris, I started a new wit. I also wanted to go ahead and say that I will no longer be saying that I'm only going to be doing something or I'm going to finish something on a certain day because you know what, honestly, I can't be held down like that. I just can't. You know, there's just too many projects. And then I watch other people's floss tubes and I'm like, that is amazing. I need to stitch that. And then I go and I buy the pattern and then I kit it up. I don't know why I buy the pattern and I automatically kit it up. Um, so yeah, no, no, no more of that. Um, but first, before I show you the whip, because they're in project bags, I have to, I have to thank, I have to thank some people. Um, first up is, uh, Marlene, Stitching by the Lake. Everybody knows how much I love Marlene. Marlene's probably thoroughly creeped out at this point, but Marlene, you are just the best. And Marlene has now made me not one, but two project bags. This was the first one. And it is gorgeous. It is just the most beautiful thing. I love the fabric. Um, and Marlene also included another bag so that I can put all my floss and everything in it. So obviously also because it's from Marlene, it's even more special. But these are beautiful project bags. You are amazing, Marlene. Just, yeah, she lined it. She said that she picked out the fabric because it reminded her of me. I mean, I just love that. And then, out of the blue, I, um, I had gotten a bunch of stuff. I had gotten all of Olivia's Christmas presents off of 123 Stitch, and they came, and so I had all these packets, and then there was, like, an extra envelope. And I do a lot of internet shopping. Um, some people have a glass of wine in the evening. Uh, I don't do what other people do to relax, honestly. Um, but, uh, but I, I internet shop. Internet shop. I mean, I'll just get packages all day long. All day long. And so uh, there was another envelope, and I was like, oh, I don't know what it was. It was this. Marlene sent me this because she got, said she was she saw the fabric and thought of me. And it is glittery, and it is beautiful, and I love it. And so, yeah, I had a hard day, and it turned out I had a surprise package from Marlene. And I might have just cried a little bit after I saw it. It was like... There is nothing better than stitchy kindness, because it's probably sometimes, most of the days, it's the only kindness that I, I get to see. Um, yeah, especially around the holidays. Like You would think that people would be thankful, and all of thankful, and practice grace, and be good-natured during Thanksgiving. Not when you tell them that they missed the cutoff for pie orders. And they're not very nice. Or no, you can't have a Yule log on Thanksgiving. Like, what is that? <sighs> Not a very patient person. But anyway, getting back to it. Um, so beautiful, beautiful bags from Marlene. Thank you, Marlene. They mean a lot to me. Um, I took this one to Paris with me. I'm going to show you my project. So this was after there was a lot of um, complaining from uh, my boyfriend about how uh, I've been stitching for everyone else, but not for him. And I wanted to take a project with me just so that I had something to do on the plane and in the evenings. Um, and I had seen this. I had seen this being done by Maddie. Maddie, what's your name? Happy Go Stitchy. Happy Go Stitchy. Sorry. No, you was Maddie. On Instagram, Maddie sadly does not have a floss tube. Maddie 
please start a floss tube. I would love to watch a floss tube. You have an amazing personality. I totally understand why my sister loves you as much as she does, uh, but you need to be on floss tube. Respect that you don't have it, but I'm just saying that I, I just feel like floss tube needs you. Um, so yeah, so this was um, something Maddie was stitching and it was perfect for Serge, like perfect. And it is, show it to you. Oh, well, sorry. I'm doing this on my laptop for the first time and I'm not really knowing where the camera is. So it is All Souls Beer, Beer London by Quiltify. I don't know why that was laughing because I have the Christmas tree up. So yeah. Um, and it's like a, it's like a Death Quaker sampler. So that's what I'm working on for Surge. I'm going to show you. Okay, so this is what the whole thing looks like. I haven't stitched this in a while, but it was great to take to, it was great to take on the airplane. And it was, um, I'm, all, I'm do, stitching it in four colors. I started it in three, but then I realized that for some of the doodads, I needed four. And again, this isn't, they didn't, this is the finished one that they showed us, but if you, again, if you stitch it from this copyright wise, I'll hold it back here so you really can't see it. But uh, yeah, so it's going to be pretty big and I just got two pieces done. So yeah, All Souls Fear London and I am doing it on 30 count Silvery Moon 17 by 24 Belfast Zweitgart. Olivia kitted up the whole entire thing. Like I had called up Olivia... I want to say a week before and was like, look, Maddie's stitching this thing and I really want to stitch it for search. Should I kit it up? And Olivia said, don't. Just come over to my place and look at what I have and maybe we can kit something up. She's always trying to get me to save money because I spend a lot of money without having a lot of money. Like definitely champagne taste, beer budget type of girl. I don't care. I don't have kids to send to college. I don't own a house. Never going to own a house. So if I feel like buying myself a fancy faux leopard coat or some Gucci loafers, PayPal gives me six months to pay it back. Never taken financial advice from me. However, here's the thing about this pattern. And again, I'm going to try to show it. Please no one get super mad about this, okay? Because I just briefly want to just explain that this pattern is beautiful. However, sorry, I'm shaking it so you can't, I'm telling you, it's like 15 pages. It's 15 pages and I just really kind of want to write the guy back on Etsy and be like, hey, look, love it, but this is so hard to stitch off of. Like, I'm not blind. I could blow it up with my copier, but yeah. So I really enjoyed it. Obviously, 32 count. Um, I would say that the first hour and a half, I felt really nauseous stitching it because I really had to concentrate. Then after a while, it got a lot easier. However, this part was the first part that I stitched, and I had to stitch it like, sorry, I had to stitch it, I want to say like three or four times because this, I'm going to have the hardest time with this camera. There we go. This one, one little dot right here, that little star, I was off by one stitch and it set the whole, the whole circle off. And I couldn't figure it out for a really long time. But yeah, um, so that is that. Olivia gave me the fabric. Olivia had invited me over to go and see what her stash looked like, but honestly, her stash is actually kind of like a small private LNS. The amount of different flosses she has, um, patterns, fabrics, drawers of fabrics, drawers and drawers and drawers of flosses, hand dyed, DMC, silks. I mean, you name it, Olivia has it. And she has a lot of it. And it was amazing. It was amazing. It would be basically like me showing you guys my cocktail closet. Because, yeah, I have a closet that's just cocktail attire. I don't show anyone that just because 
be like showing you my American Express bill. No one needs to know. Um, but Olivia gave me these really cool, it's from Victorio, Victorio, Victorian Motto Sampler Shop. And I don't know because it's not the best light today. And obviously these are like, sorry, I have them in plastic bags. Um, this is a really cool inky one. She just gave me, she gave me three. And so I'm doing it that one, which is Penny Rug, Variegated Penny Rug. These hand-dyed, hand-dyed flosses that are variegated but not super variegated, meaning like not something that's like light blue and pink, are so my jam. Sorry, these are a mess, a mess. Um, this one. It's a complete mess because Serge is working on a pattern and I needed to give him some and yeah, I'm blaming Serge. That one is Jerry Mary Red. I think Olivia belonged to a Floss of the Month Club from Victorian Motto Sampler Shop. And that's why. Another one's just a purple. I'm not going to keep showing you the mess. Anyway, so that's Serge. I haven't worked on it since I've gotten back really just because... We're into the holidays. There's a lot to holiday stitch. Serge isn't going anywhere. He has no choice but to be with me. Jokingly tell him I own his soul. It's like a half joke. Um. Okay. Sorry, I'm kind of on guard. This, I don't know if I've shown this. This is a project bag that Olivia made me, and I love this. I like Olivia's project bags. And I like bunnies toadstools so it's kind of gnomey. She made this for a while for me, a while ago. Olivia for Olivia's made me a couple project bags but it was always for an 8 inch Q-snap and I usually work on 11 inch Q-snap so it never really fit. Um, this is Turkey Bay. This is specifically why I refuse to make bold statements about finishing stuff. Because it is now after Thanksgiving, and in my first floss tube, it was like, oh, this is so much fun, and I'm going to finish it in two weeks. Because I think I'm such a good stitcher, and I'm so fast. Yeah. No. Because I got distracted by all of these other projects that everyone else was doing, and then it was like, yeah, Turkey Bay is fine. That and Olivia gave me a pass to not have to finish it for Thanksgiving. There we go. So yeah, that's Turkey Bay. This is what I got to uh, left to finish, and then I'm pretty much done. And Serge can can frame it up. I still really like it. I totally messed up the ship part, so that's why I haven't really. I had to like fix the whole. Sorry, I hate that this reverse thing is killing me. I had to fix the whole border, like it was supposed to end. I think back here, but um, yeah, I fudged it so many times that now I really I really have to pay attention. Not really, and honestly, with the amount of work I have going on during the holidays, having to really focus is it's difficult. I don't have much time. I have oh, I have a couple. I'm gonna try to keep this not super long. Um, I did start because I have a finish, which I will talk about. I did start. Santa the Dove and the Key. There we go. Barbara Anna Designs, Santa Dove and the Key. Because I love this. Little Santa riding giant dove. Um, yeah, so I started this last night. While sitting by the tree. And watching Christmas in Connecticut. I think the 1945 version. If you've never watched Christmas in Connecticut, it is a wonderful Christmas movie about a, um, it's black and white and super famous actors, I'm sure that I can't remember, but, um, yeah. And, uh, it's about a woman who writes for a magazine and I think like Good Housekeeping or something like that. And she lives in Manhattan in a small apartment and she writes in good housekeeping as if she were this amazing housewife that lives in Connecticut in a farm and has a cow and a baby and a husband, but she's like a single working girl. 
and um, and she has to basically pretend like she does live in Connecticut. Anyway, it's great. It's great. Good Christmas rom com. And kind of progressive, given that it was in I think the forties. I don't know. I've watched it so many times, and I know nothing about it. So I started this. <laughs> oh, um, so I started this last night and it's on a rectangular piece of fabric. I don't ask me what, but I am pretty sure this is 30 count, even weave of some kind. Um, so I started it last night and I did it in the wrong direction. So instead of having it be like lengthwise rectangular, the fabric, um, it was, it was vertical. So I stitched about this much. I stitched about this much and then had to completely take it all out and, um, turn the fabric around and then start again, only to realize that for the, for the bush branch part, I was off again, had to rip it all out. And this is my third time. So, so far so good. I'm stitching the wing of the dove and... Yeah. Don't know when I'm going to finish it. Don't know if I'm going to finish it. This might go the way of Lantern Lane and just be rolled up and uh, sitting behind the Christmas tree. I make no promises now. I did switch out the colors. This is Peapod as opposed to DMC. Just because I liked it. Slightly variegated. It was from Lantern Lane. Probably not going to finish Lantern Lane, so uh, it's mine. Um... And no needle, needle minder. Again, I bought Olivia one, had to buy myself one. I have the green one, Olivia has the blue one. Turns out, Ginger Gerald has the yellow one. Ginger Gerald has good taste. So yeah, Santa Dove and the Key, that's that one. I think I have one last one to show. It's been a while, so I don't really remember. I put my stuff in a handy dandy binder. It's like as organized as I can get because there's stuff everywhere. This apartment's so old that there's a lot of built-in storage and I do not like clutter. So I have a lot of kind of weird tchotchke crap around, whether it's um, stuff Olivia's collected at, at um, estate sales or Serge and I go to the Alameda Antique Fair every uh, first Sunday and then every month, practically. Um, and yeah, I do like eclectic weird stuff. So, but my apartment is not cluttered. It's not cluttered because I stuff all my stuff in all of the different hutches and cabinets and built-ins. Because the whole, the whole uh, hallway has a built-in from floor to ceiling storage thing. Just shove all sorts of stuff. Everywhere. I had uh, lost uh, my Golden Girl cross stitch that I had finished for Chung, and just the other day I was like, God, I wonder what is in this antique hutch, which is that. That is that is just a random pile of cross stitch stuff right there. Lantern Lane is in that pile. Um, also, wonderful project bag from Diana. It's Kismet stitches. I have a bunch of cloth in it for this project. Thank you, Diane. Love the project bags, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. As a girl who can't sew, it's like... <sighs> Olivia asked what I wanted for Christmas, and I'm like, I don't know. Just project bags. Okay, so I had started... I started this when I wasn't supposed to. I started this maybe like two hours after I said I was only going to be stitching Lantern Lane Turkey Bay. in the plastic. I'm just having a tough time today, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. I bought a candy apple covered in peanuts at the mall today, and when I'm done with this, I'm going to eat the crap out of it. Okay, so, Kara! Posing. I'm doing this one for Chung. Because Chung, Chung kind of, I don't want to 
to say wine because I know she's watching this. But Chung was upset that I had stitched multiples for other people and nothing for her. And Chung is an amazing knitter. Kn knit me a cardigan once. She recently knit me in a super cute hat with a pom-pom. So, yeah, I, I definitely had to do this for. So, yeah, so I started this. Should I put my face in front of it so the lights don't show? There we go. That's more flattering. Um, yeah, super cute. Her shoes were supposed to be black. I changed them out to mustard because I felt it coordinated better with the outfit. Uh, this is a lot of floss um, colors. It called for all DMC, but I decided to switch out some slightly variegated thread works for it. And this is cornflower blue. Lugana. 28 count. Does that sound like a thing to everyone? I'm going to go with it. I'm really looking forward to getting back to stitching this. This was just a lot of fun. I enjoy it. There's a lot of colors. I love me some colors. We all know that. So yeah, really stoked about that. Really excited for Christmas to be over. I might stitch it before Christmas. Who knows? No promises. Because I don't want to lie to you guys. Also, so I'm stitching the other Gara pattern called um, Roses Embroidery. That one. That one's going to Olivia. And I bought Fabrics by Stephanie. Hand-dyed fabrics by Stephanie. I waited five weeks for this. And it is pretty plum. And it is extremely opalescent. Now, I love me some glitter. So opalescent fabric. I'm kind of like, why would you stitch on anything other than opalescent fabric? Um, but this is really opalescent. Yeah, it's called Pretty Plum. What is it? Perfectly Plum. So, um, yeah, we did, I waited about five weeks. We got it. It was expensive. Olivia's worth every penny, considering she pretty much gives me whatever I want out of her stash. Um, so I look forward to stitching that for her. I paid the money for it. I got it. It's happening. And it will go in Olivia's craft room. She has no choice. Okay, so that's that. Um, I did have one finish, which was Little House Needleworks Sweet Shop. I'm going to insert a picture. I had done it on um, opalescent, I think, 30 count linen. 30 or 28, it was one or the other. And I really enjoyed it. It came out really, really cute. However, like a ninny muggin, I had gotten the roof one, you basically stitched the shop, okay? And then on the outside of the shop was uh, a crew, like one line up. I'm guessing it was supposed to be snowy. And so I had done one of the sides of the, of the shop but I hadn't done the other and then had started doing the roof and I got through almost the whole entire roof until I realized that I was off by one row. And so Olivia was like, just fudge it. And I was really bummed, but this actually happened the Wednesday of Thanksgiving and I had like a three or four hour break before I had to go back to the bakery to start rolling out pie shells. And so I was already really, really exhausted. Then to figure out that I had stitched that whole entire roof the whole entire afternoon that I would have to rip the whole thing out. And um, I didn't want to fudge it. I was looking at it, trying to figure out how to fudge it. But at the end of the day, I liked it so much. And it was going to be so cute that, yeah, I just got that seam ripper out and I just tore up the whole thing. I redid it. And yesterday morning at around 6 a.m., because I woke up at 3 to finish it, I finished the sucker. Came out really cute. Serge is going to finish it for me and put it in a frame, and which I already bought. And I am going to ship it off to Chung as well so that she has Christmas cross-stitch. 
out of all of my friends that have nothing to do with stitching. Chung has watched every single video and been really supportive and really wants the stuff. And I think that's that's the best you can ask for is to gift it to someone who actually is really excited about it and actually wants it. As opposed to giving it to someone and having to be like, oh, that's nice, you made it. That's cute, you crafted. That take, it took a few days of, not a few days, that took longer than a few days. Like, no. People undervalue us all sometimes. And I'm just not having any of it. I think my mom, I posted a picture on Instagram and my mom's like, oh, that's cute. Do you know who you're going to give it to? And I said, no, why? Did you, did you want it, mom? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure you can find someone who wants it. Okay. That's fine. Um, let's see, where are we at now? Okay, so aside from Marlene's project bag, Diana's project bag, which by the way, I do want to show you. Olivia went to the retreat in Austin and brought um, this bag back as well as a really cute Skull and Crossbones needle minder from Diana. Um, it's Kismet Stitches. Um, and yes, thank you, Diana. I basically turned it into a pillow with all the gamer floss. Fits it all perfectly. It's like a little bag of floss shame at this point. So thank you very, very much for that. Um, Stitcherista was very, very kind and uh, sent me this. Danielle, thank you very, very much. Um, needle minder, my heart belongs in Paris. Thank you very, very much for that. That was very thoughtful for you. Couldn't even believe you knew who I was. Super flattered. And feel like I'm totally forgetting someone, but what's really important, where is it? Sorry. Just in case you wanted a close-up of my curls. Most importantly, Mish Stitch. Sent me this which is basically a needle minder of me. And I love it. Um, it's Rizzo, I think. And she had bought it as a pin and it showed up in the mail. And uh, I think it's kind of dead on. I think it's kind of dead on. And I am definitely the type of person that would fully appreciate and adore having a needle minder of myself. Because I'm horrible like that. So, Michelle, you are a magical, magical woman. And I, I love you for that. Um, yes. Also, we went to a stitch up with NorCal Stitchers, a very wonderful group of women in, um, in the Bay Area. And uh, I met a lot of, a lot of great people. Uh, I don't remember everyone's Instagram handle. Um, or floss tube handle. It was just a really, a really good, really good group. Michelle hosted it. Michelle, I can't remember your, I just, Michelle's a wonderful woman who lives in Sacramento and led us all into her home, which was gorgeous. And we had a potluck of snacks and we went through her whole entire stash. I don't think I've seen Olivia that happy <laughs> before. And uh, it was just really Met a lot of a lot of great great people. Um, again, Maddie was there, Susan, Hooker Janet, who I love. I feel like she's my spirit animal. Um, Jen, Dana, Jen's sister, Abby. Am I missing anyone? If I am, I'm I'm just horrible person, and I'm sorry. But anyway, it was a wonderful wonderful group. And speaking of being a horrible person, where is it? Okay, so someone, someone at the meetup, okay, gifted me this. And I, from Country Cottage Needleworks, um, Party Cakes, was it Jen? Was it Maddie? I 
can't remember who gifted me this. So if you are watching, can you please let me know? Because thank you so much. I'm really excited to stitch this. I was so overwhelmed. I don't do groups a lot. I'm like a one-on-one -on -one person. And I, um, I feel horrible because you brought this and you gave it to me specifically. And I remember all that. And I can't remember who it was. But uh, I'm going to stitch this and put it in the bakery. So yeah, Country Cottage, Needleworks, Party Cakes. I'm really excited. And then I know Michelle gave this to me because she was basically um, my stitch of date. Sat right next, I got to sit right next to her. I think I sat basically in her really nice armchair. And she had to sit on a stool. I feel really bad about that. Michelle smells wonderful. And she also needs a floss tube. I don't care if that sounds creepy. I'm kind of beyond that. By the way, if you comment on this, that you want to be my best friend, and that you don't want to be creepy about it, you're not creepy about it. That's like the best compliment a girl could ask for. Nothing creepy about admiring other people. So I'm not even going to call it creepy. Michelle, if you're watching this. So Michelle, let me have this. Ribbon candy ornament. I want to I wanna do this so bad. It calls for, um, what is it? White 14 count perforated paper for a mill hill. I don't know what that is. It comes in one nine and a half by 12 sheet will make or eight ornaments. I don't know what that is. I'm going to figure it out. I don't know how to make an ornament. Um, she tried to tell me how to make an ornament, but like totally over my head. Serge is going to have to learn how to make these into ornaments and I'll stitch them. Like these on that tree. Um, so yes, so thank you. Thank you for all of this stuff. The fact that anyone would be giving me stuff either out of their stash or pay for it or make it uh, is incredible and not at all wasted on me. I appreciate all of these item items. It's, um, I do not mean this lightly. It is extremely heartwarming and very, very kind and generous. So yeah, I really do mean it when I say that the fact that people would sit through these videos, even care, comment, like it, even dislike it, um, just means a lot. Means a lot. So again, um, thank you for each item. Each item means means something to me. I really again apologize about not remembering who gave me party cakes. That makes me feel horrible. Um, but I will stitch it. Please tell me who did it because I feel like such a such a jerk. Um, as well as shout outs. Anyone who uh, gives me a shout out. Uh, Emily, who said I have pizzazz. Um, Caroline over at Off the Grid. Uh, anyone. I'm probably I'm probably missing someone. I, I don't know. Um, yeah, just means a lot means a lot. Speaking of Caroline over at Off the Grid, I watched <laughs> I watched her video and immediately bought Winter Quakers. This thing's really big, right? But uh, Caroline has really, really good taste. I follow her on Instagram and she it's like it's like with Happy Go Stitchy Maddie. It's like everything she posts, I'm like, oh sign me up for that fun. Um, so here we go. Uh, Winter Quaker. I'm really looking forward to this one. Probably not this winter, but I'm looking forward to it. These, uh, what are these small little thread balls called? Verdani? Something like that? That's a thing, right? Valdani? Valdani. Not stitching with those. I'm going to choose my own colors. I, uh, yeah. I'm going to elena this thing. But yeah, Caroline is... If you're looking to save money, don't follow Caroline on Instagram. Because her stuff that she chooses... Also, Evertote. I told Olivia, if you don't get time to making me um, project bags, just go over to Evertotes. There is a beautiful... Oh, there was. It's already sold out. Um, partridge in a pear tree one. Sign me up for that fun. 
that was one. I did I did purchase a ton of stuff for Olivia for Christmas. I think I have, at this point, bought her nine patterns off of one, two, three stitch that were off a specific Christmas list that she sent to me. Um, three patterns off of eBay from her favorite designer. Um, and two off of Etsy. So yeah, I'm at 14 patterns and I am individually wrapping every single one of them. Side note, wrapping patterns is extremely easy as I found out the other day. A lot easier than the other stuff. There's something else. I, I can feel it. But I'm not sure what. Um, personal shout outs to people that I highly enjoy. Um, I would say... Again, I just feel like there's a lot. There's a lot. Caroline was a lot of fun to watch. Um, but I would say that the top three that come to mind that, that doesn't include Marlene, because I would just shout out to Marlene every day, is uh, for sure um, Abby Bellastitch. I feel like we might actually kind of slightly be related. I don't know. She owned a bakery. I own a bakery. She loves Christmas. I love Christmas. She loves to cook Filipino food. I love cooking Filipino food. I can only do Filipino spaghetti. Um, but yeah, I just really enjoy her presence in general. I just, yeah. So Abby, um, yeah, yeah, adore you. Uh, then there would be, then there would be Ginger Gerald, who to me is serious life goals. I love watching Ginger Gerald. Um, Olivia has been watching Ginger Gerald since his first video, uh, and so the moment that I started watching Floss Tube, Olivia was like, you got to check out Ginger Gerald. And, yeah, um, his projects kill me. Kill me. The other day on Instagram, he actually told me the first time he ever stitched on linen was that crown one. I don't remember it, but I know Olivia started stitching it, and it's all in metallic thread. Who does that? Ginger Gerald does that. Um, yeah. His projects kind of put the fear of cross-stitching. And yet he then goads me and basically tells me to sack up on Instagram. So, Gerald, if you're watching this... I love you, Ginger Gerald. Maybe it's just because I have a thing for redheads. I have a redheaded sister. You like gnomes. She likes gnomes. I like gnomes. I don't know. I'm just saying, if you come out to the West Coast, though... We're going to go eat pancakes together. You have no choice, even if you don't like pancakes. I say that, and I don't even like pancakes. Either way, Ginger Gerald, um, you crack me up. And, yeah, I love Uranus. That's all I can say, because I'm 12. And last but not least would definitely be um, McKenna, Stitching and Sequins. Um, McKenna, I... McKenna actually means quite a bit to me, based on just her her level of self-confidence um i don't know i just find there's something extremely refreshing about the fact that she is she i don't know how to say it she's just 100 percent mckenna you know um like the other day on thanksgiving she posted a live video of her making green bean casserole in a short coral bedazzled dress with no bra. Uh, to me, to me, that's, that's just magical. I don't know. She's just my kind of lady. Yeah, the confidence, um, the fact that she just, she just doesn't, I'm sorry, but she just doesn't take shit, you know? And that for me is, uh, very refreshing. I just... She's extremely supportive to us newer floss tubers and um, always comments is super, super positive. She's an award-winning stitcher, let's be honest. Um, so yeah, I just like how much of her life she shares and that it's real. It's real. And um, yeah, what I don't like what I don't like and what I find to be really disappointing is when I hear about, um, I know on Stitch Mania she had posted about someone giving her grief over cleavage or 
any of that, um, I find that to be really disappointing because one of my favorite parts about this community is how positive and encouraging um, it's been, how there are so many, so many different people from different backgrounds. Um, so yeah, that part, that part's not, not okay with me. Um, not that that is any fault of McKenna's, but yeah, I just really enjoy her videos. I enjoy her projects, but more importantly, on a, a personal level, I just, uh, if I had to name a mayor to my stitchy town, it would hands down be McKenna. So McKenna, in case you are watching this, between the fact that you wear sequins to Costco, um, and I do love that jacket, by the way, even with the little bows on it, or your live videos, or how much you allow us to really participate in your life. Um, just that confidence level. I don't know. I'm older than McKenna and I have not achieved that level of self-assuredness. So, so yeah, I don't know. I just really admire her, not just as a stitcher, but actually like full-heartedly as a person. And, uh, I always, um, write her, I just always write her harassing messages about that we should have open relationships with our significant others so that we can be together. I want to say that I'm joking, but I'm kind of really not joking at this point, you know? I don't know. She's just, she's a lot of fun. I think we all get a lot of enjoyment out of her videos, and I, I just, I have a lot of admiration for her. So, so yeah. So, anywho, um, yeah, on that note, on that note, and with that said, I have told you several times in this video that I would not lie to you because uh, I just had to edit part of it and I was like wow that's like nine times ten times like it almost makes me sound like Richard Nixon of cross stitch and um toodles till next time happy stitching happy holidays and all that good fun toodles guys bye